If you've played a certain game for a really long time, you know that you kind of get tired of it after you've played it too much. And you're just tired of it, you want something new, and that's exactly what I was feeling. I was kind of done with Planet Coaster for a little bit, I was not really finding any inspiration anywhere. So I completely switched things, I changed just for a couple weeks to this program called FVD++. And basically what it is, is it's a giant vector chart, and it's... I think it's what some of the pros use to make their coasters. You literally calculate your forces and everything. You design your track using forces, g-force, you know, all the speed, all that, and you're literally using a graph to create the roller coaster. And that's what you see me doing here, and honestly, it's such a cool way to do it. It's really, really difficult. It's taken me forever to figure out just like a simple airtime hill. And once you get it though, you get it. So it's fairly easy, but it is not the easiest way. I mean, I think even the node system in No Limits is easier than this. And that's honestly a little tricky for multiple people. So yeah, I was struggling with it and that's what you can see me doing here. Also, I forgot to include the like first half of this roller coaster or maybe first three quarters. For some reason, it just didn't record, so I lost that whole part. Even though GeForce was recording, it just never saved it anywhere. So, uh, I, it's kind of annoying, but yeah, that's what you're gonna get, because I'm not gonna redo this. Um, so what I did is I started a new recording on like the like last little quarter here of the coaster, and what it is, it's like a quad down, and then kind of a final helix into the break run. Um, and it's, it's super slow, it's kind of boring to watch, but um, I'm just kind of showing you what I use or what I'm going to be using in the future. Um, I'll still do Planet Coaster, of course, but I might start to gear more towards No Limits now because I have purchased that and this program is compatible with No Limits. So once you design your this coaster, you can actually import it into No Limits without having to design it on the node system. Which is really cool because the node system in No Limits is kind of weird. You actually can't see height when you're like designing elements. You kind of just have to guess where speed, or at least I haven't discovered height yet. So yeah, there's just a lot things better with this program that um, No Limits doesn't have. I mean, you can literally design as many Gs as you want. Like you can design an element based around the Gs that you know it's pulling here or there or wherever and it's just really cool just to be able to watch this thing run and uh, you can get a POV of it too so you might see me just ride it a couple times I'll give a full POV at the end of this video in No Limits because No Limits definitely has a way better POV it adds a bunch of effects, sound, all that stuff so yeah then I went to No Limits and I started you know importing the coaster messing with the block breaks because that's what you have to do in No Limits this FED doesn't actually have block breaks, you just kind of just design the layout. So you have to do all that, No Limits also supports, do all the supports and stuff, and yeah. So it's kind of a short video, but uh, I knew it, I wanted it to be shorter. So yeah, here is a POV of, I think it's the second coaster I've ever made using FED into No Limits. So enjoy, and if it's kind of bad, then again, it is my, only my second coaster, so. Thanks for watching this really short video. I'm gonna try to make my videos a little shorter because I've gotten a couple comments that say, uh, maybe try to make your videos slash, you know, time lapses slash tutorials. And I'm just gonna try to make them shorter and I think that will work. So four minute mark, let's get into the POV. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.
Thank you.